Hi there. Welcome to my KC class. This is Balakrishna. I'm back with the new topic weak verb and strong verb. Weak and strong verb. Okay, what is weak verb and what is strong verb? In generally, which verbs are easy to pronounce are called weak verb. Yes, and which verbs are regular verb and which verbs are very familiar with us those verbs are weak verb yes whereas which verb we feel very difficult to pronounce or which verb we won't use regularly those are strong verb yes yes generally most of the students get little confused regarding this weak verb and strong verb but sure friend, today I will make you clear about a weak verb and a strong verb. Moreover, I can tell you how to pronounce of a weak verb and what are the way of pronounce of weak verb. I will tell you detail about weak verbs so that you have to watch my video completely. Hence, you can gain the most important thing today. So friend, you have to watch my complete video. So far you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel so that you will be getting all my videos notifications first. And don't forget to press the bell icon. And share this video to all your friends friend, so that they can understand how to pronounce weak verb. Let's get started now. Weak verb and strong verb. Actually friend, weak verb is nothing but it's a form of verb that changes their past tense by adding ed, ed, d, or t. By adding ed, d, and t. Okay, to the present tense. It is a form of verb that changes their past tense by adding ed, d, t to the present tense i hope you understood well in verb there are three forms of verb there are three forms of verb present verb past verb and past participle verb okay in those verb the past tense of verb changed by adding d ed or t to the present verb that is called as weak verb i hope you understood well it's a logic friend it's a nice logic yes whereas strong verb strong verb is the form of verb that change their past tense by changing the inside vowel or vowels of their present tense it means it is a form of verb the past tense of verb, say inside vowel will change from the present tense. Let's see what are the words will be weak verb and what are the words will be strong verb and how to identify the weak verb and strong verb. Look at these following examples. Talk, talked, talk, talked. You observe friend here. Ed. We add ed with the present verb. So ed would be past verb. Yes, this type of verb is called a weak verb. And let's see in my next example play. Played. Here also ed. Okay, so it is a weak verb. And my third example learn. Learnt. Moreover, you can say learn, learned. You can add a d ed. You can add t or ed with this word. And so here the word learn is a weak word. According to our definition, if any present verb add with a ed, d, or t, those are called a weak verb. Yes. Then the next example bend. Bend. You see d to t here we add t so it's a weak verb bend bent then my next example die died here only d we add a d so it is 
a weak verb okay let's compare to the strong verb just observe strong verb how it changes come came see friend you observe here the vowel inside vowel wo whereas in past form verb a wo to a it changed just we have discussed the inside vowel or vowels change then we call that a strong verb yes here the vowel wo to a it changed so that th this type of verb is called a strong verb it's easy let's see next example no new see here also the inside vowel in past present verb a inside vowel o and past verb e here the verb o to here the letter o to e changed i mean the inside vowel changed yes so it's a strong verb then my next example fall fell here is a here is e fall fell so it is a strong verb speak spoke here also the inside vowel changed here in present verb e and a here is o yes so these are the friend you have to remember if the verbs inside vowel change then we call that a strong verb clear then we'll go through the pronunciation of a weak verb see friend this is the most important things of a weak verb how to do accurate pronunciation of a weak verb generally most of the people most of the student do wrong pronunciation but today we are going to learn how to do accurate pronunciation of weak verb especially in past tense of verb yes let's see there are certain rules of a pronunciation if any weak verb ends with the letters like c k k c h p r p p s s h s s okay and sounds ends with p k s sh ts then the past tense verbs sounds ends in t i mean t for example see work work here the end letter is k and it was added with a ed so its pronunciation is worked 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 okay and my next example see this is also word this is a verb ends with a k okay ask yes its pronunciation is ask and it added with a ed so its actual pronunciation is asked asked not asked okay its wrong pronunciation friend asked asked okay then we'll go through the next word grip here the end letter is p i mean p p sound yes this word add with a ed its actual pronunciation is gripped gripped not gripped okay gripped that's wrong pronunciation its actually pronunciation grip gripped gripped okay then you see another word miss here the last letter is s yes its pronunciation is missed i missed i missed not missed okay generally we do pronunciation missed i missed him i missed her but its accurate pronunciation is missed missed you have to do okay then the next word knock here see 
सी के दिस वर्ड एंड्स विथ ए सी के यस सो वी हैव टू डू प्रोनाउंसिएशन नॉक्ट नॉक्ट हे नॉक्ट ओके हे नॉक्ट नॉट नॉक्ड ओके देन माय नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज जम्प योर द लास्ट लेटर इज पे एंड इट्स प्रोनाउंसिएशन प यस सो वी हैव टू डू एक्ट pronunciation jump 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 not a jump day okay these are the friend who we often do mistake yes we are doing pronunciation mistake that we have to rectify see friend there are lot of weak verb we can't go through all the verbs you have to list out some verbs and we have to practice in such a way you have to remember this trick you note it down yes this is the friend you have to remember forever so that it helps to develop your pronunciation in english most important thing is pronunciation lack of pronunciation the opponent or the receiver get confused your speech so that you have to develop we have to develop our uh, pronunciation if you want to develop your pronunciation definitely you spell and you pronounce wrongly and uh, this wrong spelling wrong spelt uh, reach to your student or junior in wrong way so we have to develop the accurate pronunciation of weak verbs hence i can say you practice more and more words in such a way okay then we'll go through the next point if any weak verb ends with the letters like t or d and sounds ends with t or d okay then the past tense verb sound ends in id for example c start id started here the letter t r t it ends with a t yes so here we added here id in weak verb we should add a d yes its pronunciation is started not started okay started started okay its pronunciation id you have to finish with id id started he started not started okay then my next word is need needed not needed 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 okay i needed that i needed something from you okay not needed okay needed needed clear and my next word is west wasted not wasted 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 in such a way you have to practice number of words friend and there are a lot of verbs we can't uh, complete in single day you list out a number of weak verb and practice daily at least five of them so that you can develop your uh, pronunciation and you follow these rules so it uh, helps you to develop your uh, good pronunciation this is the friend you have to remember thank you thanks a lot being with me so far and i will be back with a new topic till then you practice those words if you develop please comment on my comment box so that i feel very happy and till then you enjoy this video and have a nice day and bye for now